Today, guys, I'm gonna show you how to make aioli, garlic mayonnaise, and I'm gonna show you how to get it to this point of where it will actually stand up on its own. If you can make it like this, it's perfect. A little later on, I will also discuss, or I'll show you how, if you happen to actually break the sauce, how to fix it, because not a lot of people actually show you this. It's actually quite easy. And, well, I'll tell you a few other little interesting things along the way. So, let's get started with this delicious recipe. So to make the aioli is very easy. We're actually making a mayonnaise. This is an emulsification. So anytime that you have either water molecules suspended in oil or oil molecules suspended in water, it's an emulsification. And mayonnaise is one, paint's another, butter is another, and aioli obviously is a mayonnaise, is a garlic mayonnaise, so this is what we're making. Now, this is literally all the ingredients that we're gonna need today. We're gonna need a couple egg yolks, a clove of garlic or two, depending on the amount that you wanna make and how strong you actually want it. A little bit of lemon. We're not gonna use this whole lemon. That's, that's a gigantic lemon. And about 200 milliliters of olive oil. You don't have to use olive oil. You can substitute it with sunflower oil, soybean oil, rapeseed oil, any other oil or any other oil that doesn't have flavor to it. But olive oil is a lot better for you and well, in the end, if you're gonna be eating a lot of it, might as well make it with something that's healthy. Now, I have already made an aioli video, but that one was in Spanish, so if you do want to see the only video that I actually speak Spanish on my YouTube channel, then I will leave the link down below for you guys to check that video out as well, as well, it's a little different seeing me speak Spanish than explaining it in English. We're going to take a clove of garlic, I'm going to cut off the end, peel it, and I'm going to cut it from top to bottom. There's a saying in general, but in Spain they typically do this, that if you take the germ out, that it takes away a little bit of the bite. And the chemical is called allicin. This is the chemical that's actually in garlic and onions and shallots, and all these vegetables, and this is the defensive mechanism. The thing is though, if you do take this germ out, it's not gonna make a difference so much for the bite or the allicin that's in it, but it will make a little difference if it is starting to sprout. But in any case, I'm going to mince my garlic as fine as possible because I'm doing this by hand and I'm not using the immersion blender, which is also another method if you wanna make any dressings or any sauces like mayonnaise. Once you have the garlic minced, we're going to add it to the bowl. I'm gonna take two egg yolks. I'm gonna separate the eggs and the whites. You can save the whites if you want to reuse them for something else. And then I'm also going to roll our lemon and cut it before we actually make this. It does help if you roll the lemon a little bit on the cutting board before because this helps break up the molecules or the membrane inside the lemon before we squeeze it. So it's a little easier to squeeze at the end. Now this is important. You want to make sure anytime that you're whisking anything in a bowl by yourself, that you have a damp kitchen cloth underneath the bowl. It doesn't need to be wet and not dry, but damp. That way it doesn't move as easily. And once you have your little bowl secured, we're going to start adding the oil slowly to the egg yolks. Once you start seeing that the egg yolks are starting to emulsify, once the oil molecules are being absorbed into the egg yolk, you can then start adding the oil a little faster and a little faster and a little faster. And once you do see an emulsification, this is the point that you can add the lemon juice to the aioli and you can season it with a little bit of salt. And if you can get it to the point of where you can actually make it stand up like this, this is considered a perfect aioli, very stiff. Also guys, one quick tip, anytime that you're using raw egg yolk or raw egg, Anytime that you're making any mayonnaise, any dressings, uh, carbs, Caesar, any vinaigrettes, anything like this, any emulsification, it's best to keep this for a maximum of three days in the fridge, and then after that, throw it out, just to be safe. Now, let's say that you happen to use an immersion blender or you're making this in a thermal mix or an actual blender. Whenever you make this not by hand and you make this in a machine, there is a potential of the sauce splitting on you especially when the revolutions per minute in the blender are too fast. So what you're gonna do if it does happen to split on you is you're going to take another egg yolk with fresh oil in a bowl and you're going to start emulsifying. Once it starts to thicken a little bit, then we're going to add the split sauce back into the same bowl and it's the same process. This is the way to bring back a split sauce. It's a very easy way. And if it happens to split on you again, then I would suggest doing it by hand instead of using any, say, immersion blender or using any thermal mix or any actual food processor or mixer. Now guys, if you can get it like this to where you can see little peaks, 
This is a perfect aioli and it is something in Spain that you will see literally at every tapas bar. Not necessarily with everything, but you will typically get a little bowl of aioli, depending on where you are, um, with say a little bit of bread, or with maybe some croquetas or a tortilla, or with filewa, which I still haven't made on my channel, or maybe paella, or arroz negro, or any of these things. Typically aioli goes with them, and, but it, then again, it depends on everybody's personal preference. Now, if you want something to go with this delicious aioli that we just made today, then I would recommend clicking on this video down here to see exactly how we eat patatas bravas in Spain.